you can see on the lathe um, I've got crocodile clips that hold the leads that go to the probe on the board. That's one lead and that's the other lead. And the way I work is with an insulated port tool post. So there's a very thin sheet of fiberglass underneath here which is 0.03 of a millimetre thick and then there's a similar piece underneath the washer on the tool post and then wrapped around the bolt is another piece so that the whole of the tool post is insulated from the rest of the lathe which now allows me to be able to um, bring the tool onto the chuck and trigger it. Now I've got set up the master tool which is left hand turning so if I go to here and set that up for tool number one so that's tool number one we look in the tool table and all I've got are names of the tools in the order in which I'm going to do them and they're all set at zero so if I go to this side of the chart, that's where I'm uh, the screen. That's where I'm setting everything up for the first tool. Um, and as it says at the top, it's a master tool. I've got everything connected. Just make one check to be sure that the probe is working. You see the LEDs come on. Right, we we'll go on to that side of the chuck. hits the chuck and then comes back 20 millimeters right it's 10 millimeters back from the chuck stops and then sets it at the chuck diameter of 125.23 plus the amount it's come back off the chuck <coughs> then I go zero touch X and that sets the um, tool table uh, to zero for that tool and now if I put reposition and jog onto the Z the same thing will happen here So on the Z touch that goes to zero. And touch Z and then that's in the tool table at zero. So the next thing to do is to change the tool. Before I do that, I'll just change the tool number. So I'm on tool number two and I now work in this section so if I jog up to the chuck that's back now I touch the x-axis and that puts the offset into the uh, offset position and if I go to the tool table, you can see that's now in the tool table. So now jog to the uh, probe up to the Z. touch Z and that puts the offset on the Z and if I go to the tool table that's now entered it in the tool table so I have to repeat this process 
for each of the tools. Change the tool. So this is a passing tool. Go up to the outside of the chuck. And before I move it, touch X, which puts the offset in, tool table editor, and it's gone in there. Jog this one to the end. Uh, now what I'm going to do is to touch Z first, which puts a tool offset of 2.27 in. But this is a parting tool, so I'm going to add another um, 2.3. because I want the tool to start further over. And um, if I touch Z here, it changes the offset. And if I go to the tool table, it should have the correct offset in there. I'm set up to do tool number four, which is a boring bar, and um, I have to have that moving on that button there, outwards, towards the front of the chuck. So I have to have a piece of st tool steel <coughs> pressed against the outside of the chuck and held on with a clip, just so that I can make sure that it triggers uh, when it moves out towards the outside of the chuck. <coughs> Touch X, which puts in the offset. I'm look in the tool table to make sure it's there. It is. Right. Okay. And then Z. Touch Z, puts the offset in, and again I can look at the tool table to check that's there, which it is. Right, okay. So that's all of the tools set up. As you can see, it's reasonably quick to do, and it's still possible to make mistakes. Uh, I've made mistakes before in not putting. the crocodile clips on. Uh, if the crocodile clip is grounded it comes up with a warning on um, the probing and won't go forward but if you leave the clip off altogether and it's not grounded it will advance up and bump into the chuck so you have to be ready to stop the lathe at any point. So I'm quite pleased with the screen. That's much easier to use than the old arrangement. 
<coughs> and um, I don't at the moment think I can make much of an improvement on it. So I can go back to the front screen and I, <coughs> I can, should be able to use the uh, manual side of it without it upsetting the tool table which is also useful. So if I want to turn small one-off projects um, without changing tools I can do that. Okay, thank you.